Well, a key question of dolphins, this European project, is how we can move towards sustainable development also in the financial sector. The reason this is so important is that while, of course, at some stage one has the impression the world just goes on, everything will stay more or less as it is, a few things change, this is simply not true. There are many different possibilities for how the world economy and thereby the world we live in will develop. And the decision about which direction to take depends, of course, to a very large extent, on the investments that are being made. And who decides where to invest, to a large extent, financial intermediaries, banks, asset managers, portfolio managers, this kind of people, and the financial markets as a whole. A very important and useful example to understand this is the way Tesla has somehow galvanized interest by investors up to the point where now all big car companies invest in that direction too. We'll see where that leads. But in Dolphins, the node I'm in charge of, looks at this kind of dynamics, at how the financial sector actually plays a key role in deciding the direction into which the world economy and the regional and national economies will move. <clears throat> and we have show, been able to show that there are situations where a green growth trajectory, a sustainable growth trajectory, is actually accessible, can be profitable, but only if a sufficient number of investors coordinate in that direction. By coordinate, I mean they move in the same direction. And if they do not collectively go into such a direction, then instead we may stick on the brown path and increase environmental risks and miss other opportunities.